All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the deck profile for this one. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the rookies. Oh, I actually know the eggs. Of course, you already know. For Koromon, of course. Uh, I don't have an extra $400 to spend, so I'm not getting the other four alt hearts. But I remember I picked this up at, I think, $50 and definitely worth it a long time ago. So these are the huevitos. Let me put these bad boys over here so you can see them. It looks nice. Okay. We have four copies of this Agumon. Uh, obviously, I think this is one of the best ones for the DP buff because it doesn't matter if you're swinging at the security or into other Digimon, you still get the you still get the DP buff. So four of those, four of the I think it's BT5. It's the Battle of Omni Agumon reveal top three. Um, I don't like this Agumon as much because mostly everything's Greymon, right? So it'll drop. It'll. Uh, It'll bottom deck a lot of your great months, but it's good. It searches out your usually your ultimates or whatever piece you're missing. Four of the black Agumon. This is one of the other ones I really, really like, and that's just because we do play the Cyclomon, so it can add any Greymon, any card with Greymon in, in the name, and then any Dragon Kin. So you can play around the ratios. You can add a Greymon and the Cyclomon. You can add a Cyclomon and a mega as well you know i really like it this one four cards deep and searches you two cards what's not to like then uh one tech gamma mon i'm just gonna take it out and put the uh starter deck aquaman that gives you a plus 2k because i am making some changes to the deck they come up sometimes it does come up it helps your black or gray mon restand and that's what i really like you have no other way to kill the Digimon, and you don't have the um, the Metal Gray Inheritable. Four of the Starter Deck Greymon. Of course, this one is like, uh, it's pretty OP. It's pretty OP. The best one, I wouldn't cut it down, to be honest. I like pressuring your opponent. I, I Honestly, I, I really wanted this card in the, um, the Security Control matchup today. Four Cyclomon. I like Cyclomon because he's red and black. So, unlike the blocker or Greymon Inheritable, I can search him off Red Memory Boost. And then with the Black Agumon, he's searchable too. I might, I can't believe I'm saying this, I might cut down one and then add a uh, Geo Grey. I mean, the uh, blocker Greymon. And then four copies of Geo Greymon. Honestly, I really like it because it comes out in security. You play a level four for free, then sometimes you can unbreak your hand. Uh, you go into Metal Gray or the other ultimate I'm playing in the deck for, uh, yeah. Let's just say sometimes you will break and you won't open a level four. That's why I like playing the Geo Gray. But I think I'm gonna cut one Geo Gray, one Cyclomon for the Blocker Greymon. I hope I don't regret it because wait until you see my ultimate lineup. So four of the Metal Greymon, he is really good. The problem is that he cost or cost. And then I guess I'll just show it right now. I am also playing four Rise Greymon. So I don't play Chimera Mon. I'm sorry, dude. Fight me. Fight me. I think Chimera Mon is trash. Yeah, I, I honestly don't see him. I didn't see him in the JP list, like whatsoever. I think it's just an America thing. Um, I think, what is it, Lychee that topped with it? And once Lychee topped with it, that's it, bro. Everybody was running the fucking Chimera Mon. But um, don't say no. Don't say no. Okay. But yeah, four metal Greymon, one of the best. Rise Greymon is good because just the value. Minus 2k on an opponent's Digimon Inheritable once you have an Okia on board, a Hero, Tai, Yoli, whatever. You minus 2k, really good against armors. So you can run into an armor. Um, and then it'll purge, it'll still die because it has minus 2k. So that's why it's really good. Not changing it. I don't want. I don't like Chimera Mon in the build. I hate that Chimera Mon gets bottom decked by uh, by all your Agumons. So please hear me out. It gets bottom decked by all your Agumon searchers. Red Memory Boost is gonna it's gonna go down. I don't know how people do it when they only play seven. Because sometimes I want to bump bump the ultimates up to to nine copies. But yeah, this is my lineup for now. The Rise Gray is the reason I'm not um, running the Blocker Greymon. I'm not gonna cut it down. No way. I'll make room for the the Black 
Greymon, but I'm not cutting Rise. I think Rise is just too good. It's just the value it gets you, especially since like Black War Greymon is such a slow deck as it is. Alright, and then for the Megas, of course, we have four copies. Oh, oh. Four copies of the Black War Greymon for BT8. It is the best one. You run it at four. Then I'm running one of the BT1 War Greymon and then one of the EX1 War Greymon. Didn't come up today at all. If anything, I wish this was a second BT1 War Greymon. So I'm going to make that change. This War Greymon can also swing over on Suspended Digimon with the Metal Greymon Inheritable. And since I played three hero, it actually will work out. So you can still swing over. In the mirror match, you'll still be able to swing over other Blackboard Green Mons. So at that point, like, this is nice. Because, like, even when attacking, yeah, you delete something with blocker, and that's why it's good against the mirror match. They didn't come up today. And then three hero, to be honest, I really like the hero. There was one time when I was playing the security control matchup today that I wanted it to be a tie, just to add the pressure on. Um, but no, I think I'm gonna keep it at three since I'm maxing on the green months, the sec plus one. Three Nokia, only three because I'm running different cards, uh, a different tamer. Three Nokias, it is good once you have a hero Nokia, you can play your stuff for cheaper. Two Yoli. Uh, I really like Yoli because at the start of your main phase, if you have if you control Red Digimon, which is your whole deck, you'll gain a memory. So even if you don't have Nokia, but you do have Hero, you will go to four, and then you can Digivolve into Black or Greymon without passing your turn. I really like Yoli because it, as a tech, you can suspend it with if you swing with a dual color Digimon that's red, suspend it to delete something 3K or less. So with the Rise Gray Inheritable, this works out because you can minus 2k on something and then you'll lead tap and then you'll delete usually a champion, which is a really nice way to have uh, more board control with the Black War Greymon if you don't have the Metal Greymon Inheritable, right? So it's a good way to clear your opponent's Digimon even though you can't swing into them. And then two red memory boosts. And then today I was trying the blue card. This actually used to be Fire Rocket because Fire Rocket one cost and then you're all red, so you can swing with this one, kill something, and then for two checks, uh, delete something with a, say, Yoli or uh, Gammon. It'll restand, and then you can swing again for two more checks. So that's pretty good. The blue card, it didn't come up today, especially since it was Mulligans here. I honestly feel like I didn't need it. So this card is a good in a non-Mulligan format. Yeah, but for now, I think maybe the the a Metal Greymon, another Metal Greymon. The one from BT7. Or maybe a third red memory boost. It depends. But yeah, bro, that's the deck profile. My guys, thank you all for watching. I will be... Mario's Gaming World is taking a break. I don't think he's streaming next week. So I will try to see what tournament I can join. Maybe Gaia Force Gaming on Monday. But yeah, that's it for me. Uh, I will see you all later. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. J. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.